I would describe the community here at St Albans as a really close-knit family. We are here for one another, we care for one another and we're always there to support one another. We have a really large range of students with different backgrounds and cultures and we have exchange students overseas who come here and we welcome them with open arms. What makes St Albans so different from other sixth forms is the small class sizes. Especially coming in as an external student, you get to appreciate the small classes. With these small classes, we get to enable to have these really great student-teacher relationships where they get to know you more as an individual and not just a number. St Albans sixth form has an amazing partnership with Career Ready. So Career Ready is a programme that helps young people enter the world of work. Um, it's really great for building life skills. Um, it involves things like work experience, work placements, mentoring and masterclasses that all help you prepare for the future. It's really up to you what you choose to do with your fifth day. Um, personally, I am interested in teaching as a career, so I decided to do some work experience at a local primary school, and that has been really good for building my confidence, and I think I've developed really good life skills there too, which I wouldn't have been able to get if I didn't have that fifth day. Um, but you can really do anything you like with it, um, from even just working at home, or I know some people come in to do law BTECs and things on Wednesdays, so that's an option too if that's what you want to do. So I feel that St Albans has prepared me really well for my future. We've had advice and a slice sessions with employers coming in to talk to us about what they do and the opportunities that we could have there. So what's so special about the teaching here is that it's on a really personal level. So all the teachers are will always see if we have any struggles or where we go wrong and they can really help, help to support us which is a great part of being a small sick form. So we've also got all the teachers are really engaging and they, they love their subjects um, so it makes the lessons fun and helps us to learn through their passion. Um, we've also got specialist classrooms for different subjects so that helps and makes learning great. So in my free time and study time, if I want to have a relax, I'll go to the common room because it's a great place to sort of cool down after a busy day. Uh, we've got sofas that are comfy and uh, stools if I want to do a bit of work but casually, I'll sit there. We can also make drinks at the kitchen or heat up any food in the microwave, which is great. But if I want to study, I'll go into one of our quiet or silent areas, which are really useful if I need to knuckle down. My subject teachers push me and also my colleagues to excel by providing us one-to-one -one face time and also taking us through exam style questions. Especially me in particular, I believe my subject tutors has also provided extra time as I believe I did find it difficult at first to master exam style technique but now I believe I'm working towards that. I have applied to medicine and also foundation in medicine and also bio, biomedical studies and my teachers have also given us, us and my colleagues extra support by inviting doctors to come speak to us through the process of interviews and also personal statements, and also previous year students who have made it into medical school and given us support whilst writing our personal statement. Outside of A-levels, we are encouraged to take part in clubs and societies based off our interests. So we run basketball clubs. Last year we did yoga as well. Um, people have the choice of using the gym. I chose an Auburn sixth form because at previously being a St Albans high school student, I knew the teaching there was excellent and I also knew there was a community to come into, so I, I, felt, I would have felt welcome when coming in. Sixth form life is very different to normal school life, mainly because of the different style of teaching we have here, due to the more personalised teaching which we have because we have small classes, which you don't get in other sixth forms. Also, due to the flexible timetables we have, we can spend our time freely and do what we want in our freeze, and we can even go home if, if you want to. If I had to sum up St Albans in three words, I'd say we are fun, caring and inspiring. Hello and a very warm welcome.
welcome to our first ever live streamed event. My name is Mrs Morris and I'm the Head of Sixth Form here at St Albans. Whether you're one of our current Year 11 students or Year 11 studying at another school, thank you for joining us this evening. Choosing where to study next year and what to study is a big decision and we hope tonight will help you a little in that decision making process. I also welcome parents and carers who have joined us this evening. You play an important role in this decision making process too. Above all, we want our young people to be happy. I'm going to give you a brief, brief outline of this evening and then I'm going to hand over to Mr Horn, who will be presenting this evening and to the most important people here this evening, the sixth formers themselves. Our evening will be informal and we want our year 11 and 12 students to talk for themselves about their experiences, both in the classroom here and beyond. Please also rest assured that they are within a sixth form bubble and so sitting together as they would in class. By the end of the evening, I hope you uh, have a better idea about our sixth form and what makes us so special. If you want to ask any questions throughout the evening, please post them on the live chat or you can email us directly and we'll get back to you individually. So enough from me, I'm going to hand you over to Mr Horn and our sixth formers. Good evening everybody and welcome to our, our live open evening event for the sixth form. This is the first time that we've done something of this kind, although we have done this lower down the school, but certainly for our sixth form, this is venturing into new ground. Um, I'd like to welcome you to our sixth form library. This is our dedicated sixth form library space, and it's a really special venue for us to hold this evening's uh, event. Now, what hopefully is gonna happen is that you won't hear too much from me, because actually that isn't really the important bit. It's these superstars who are with me this evening who are gonna do all of the talking and hopefully sell the sixth form to you. So I will now introduce formally the guests that we have with us. So on my left, I have our head boy and head girl, Clive and Annabella. And to my right, uh, we have two of our year 12 students, Frederica and Georgia. Uh, and they're gonna actually just talk through some of their experiences of being here at Sixth Form. And hopefully you'll really get an insight into what our Sixth Form is all about. So just to kind of open things up really and just sort of kick things off, I'd like to ask a question. I'm going to start with Clive. Um, what makes St Albans so special and so unique? So I think the main selling point for St Albans is, you know, the community. Mm. You know, we're, we're all coming here and it doesn't matter where you're from, what culture, <laughs> if you even came from this school, um, if you even came from the main school, you're all accepted. And, you know, when you just go around the school, the teachers always comment on how much of a great vibe it has mm -hmm. and how much of a great feeling it has. And it's... And it's not just about studying, it's also about having fun. And yeah. St Albans just allows that to happen. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, yeah, can cool. I butt in there? Yeah, well? absolutely. Uh, I'd also like to just mention the fact that with the community, you mm -hmm. mentioned community, um, our forms are also year 12 and year 13 combined. I think that's a great way to kind of allow students to get to know each other even more and then bring that community closer together as a, as a sixth form. Yeah, just to sort of pick up on that. What, I mean, as you say, it's quite important to have that community feel and... I guess now in year 13 for you, yeah. how do you kind of see your role as in inviting those, those year 12 students into the sixth form? What, what, you know, what kinds of things happen to make things easier for them? I mean, it's definitely a really important part, a mm -hmm. uh, job for us anyway as year 13s to make sure that the year 12s um, feel included, especially yeah. ones that um, are external students or mm. have come from different different places around the world, uh, yeah. Germany for example. Yeah. Um, um, we do this by clubs, extracurricular, and mm -hmm. um, we have a cathode leadership team at the moment yeah. where we are now planning to get some of the year 12s involved. So it's just basically integrating both of the years together through different clubs and so on and things like that. Okay, cool. Now just to sort of explain to those of you who are watching and maybe if you're an external person looking at the school, we do take a number of students from abroad. Mm. So Frederica is uh, a student from Germany who we have a link with a, a company that does exchange students internationally. So do you want to just talk a little bit about your experience of coming in from abroad and coming to a brand new school? Well, I think like especially here in St Albans, I've been welcomed very well from our head girl. <laughs> she was actually the first one who showed me around. But um, I think it's not that big of like a challenge because everybody is welcoming you, everybody is talking to you, asking you where you're from, helping you. If you have language problems, which I had at the beginning and still have in some of my subjects, I can just ask my neighbour or even the teacher they will explain what it means to me. 
or the or <laughs> to <laughs> all English people, for example, in philosophy, where especially then the language is a bit weird for <laughs> normal English yeah. students. Yeah. Okay. And and Georgia, you obviously were in our main school, yeah. so. And I know when you got into year 11, you were kind of a bit undecided about where you were going to go. You were thinking about yeah. other, other places, but eventually you kind of came back to St Albans. So what, what, what kind of made you come back to St Albans and decide on staying here in sixth form? I think it was, like Clive said, the community here. I felt like, I think even in year 11, I knew some of the year 13s mm. and year 12s mm. just because of how close everyone was. And I think the fifth day was what made me go okay I'm gonna stay at St Albans mm -hmm. I think it's just so useful and that's what kind of was like oh okay I'm gonna to go to St Albans with the community and the fifth day okay so so just to kind of pick up on that that point about the fifth day because that might be again something that people from outside of the school don't know what does that mean what 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 do, what do we mean by the, the fifth day because that's something that's new that we brought in isn't it so do you yeah. want to explain that so the fifth day at St Albans is like uh, it's on a Wednesday and it's a day where you kind of for year 12 you don't come into school unless you want to and you can use that day for work experience if you have any like homework or if you have a job or just to get any like work done for school and I think it's really useful because I know if I get homework at the beginning of the week I can use it and do it on my Wednesday and then I've got all my homework out of the way and I can kind of relax a little bit more about work and I know I'm trying to find like work experience so I know it will be really helpful having that Wednesday off to yeah. be able to do it and help me with what I want to do. Okay, brilliant. And I guess that kind of leads us into quite nicely. Um, obviously, there are academic skills that you're developing in your subjects, but just beyond that and broader than that, and thinking about that idea of the fifth day, what kind of skills do do you develop here in the sixth form, probably beyond what you developed when you were doing your GCSEs? I mean, obviously, sixth form is very different to GCSEs, I think. <laughs> I mean, especially from people coming from the main school, sometimes they feel like, oh, the sixth form's just, you know, another part of St Albans. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, um, like, you know, it's totally different, really. No, I mean, it is. It's different. I mean, yeah, people would assume that because it's the same same area, same, you'd assume it's the same as um, being yeah. as and high school, but the sixth form's completely different. Um, yeah. yeah, I mean, and then it makes us, you know, learn new different um, revision techniques as well. You know, we're, we're more, it's more reliant on yourself and going home and being more independent yeah. and you do learn a lot more different skills with that you know time management is a bit much bigger you can't your teachers aren't chasing you up like main school to get onto this homework it's up to you to actually complete it yeah, yeah. as a student you've definitely got a lot more responsibility of your own independent learning mm -hmm. time even though of course teachers are still here yeah. i mean to support you and everything yeah. um you have got to rely on yourself a lot more yeah. than you yeah. would at gcse yeah but also like um the teachers help you to t to like um, get you that skill yeah. yeah because like that's really something that surprised me when I came here <laughs> like, we had like an extra day where they were just focusing on how we could learn on our own how we to learn effectively mm -hmm. how to use our time and that we inform we talk about what's happening and maybe how to get um, a university or to decide yeah. for one Definitely, and yeah. that really helped yeah, fifth day would have been pretty nice for us yeah. as well. <laughs> I'm a bit jealous, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a new development, and I think yeah. what we're trying to do is to find ways, innovative ways, that we can support students mm -hmm. and develop those those skills that are going to prepare them for the next stage yeah. of their, yeah. their educational careers. Um, okay, that's, that's really positive to hear. So what would you say are kind of the key... I mean, I, I guess you have touched on it a little bit, but kind of just your maybe... It's a bit fresher in your mind, Georgia, particularly as you've just finished your GCSEs or relatively recently. What do you see as the key differences of studying GCSEs to what you're, you're experiencing now in studying A-levels? I think like Annabella said, the responsibility, the teachers, obviously, they're always there for you. They're always there to help you. But you have a lot more responsibility on you. So with homeworks, like Clive said, they're not always chasing you up. It's up to you to do it. Mm -hmm. And that's always good because obviously you come to sixth form because you want to learn, you want to get the good grades that you yeah. need. So it's really just about like the responsibility, the, dif the difference between that. Okay, that's I fair. also think what's great about the sixth form as well, like you mentioned at the start, so we're currently in our library yeah. and we've got loads of different places within the sixth form where you can just go off and study when you have free free time to do so. So we have the library now, we have the ISA, which is a silent independent yeah. study room. Um, which I spend quite a lot of time <laughs> doing my revision yeah. at the moment. Um, but yeah, they're just a few of the good places that we have in the sixth form to just go back, 
check on notes, revise, study anything that you want to um, yeah. for further subjects and so on. I think another big difference I feel like between you know main I mean lower school and high school and high sixth form is just really the relationship with teachers as well because mm. like. I mean, I, we're much more casual with the teachers and we're just much more confident about being able to speak to them if we've got any problems. Yeah. And just a relationship, especially with the small classes as well. Yeah, the small, yeah. It's just, it's just um, the lessons are just more fun. And even if, it, and if there's a difficult topic, it's much easier to just let the teacher talk to you properly rather than being hassled by 30 different students. Yeah, that's true. You get a lot more attention mm. um, put on yourself if you cons- have any concerns with any subjects or anything. It's so much easier to go up to a teacher and just ask, I don't understand this, can you help me? And they're so easy to just go, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll sort this out, there you go. It's great, yeah. Yeah, okay. So let's maybe think about preparing for those next steps and you know thinking beyond sixth form because you know that that's a part of this isn't it you know you come to sixth form you're already planning for the future and what what those steps might be so what what kind of support do you get as students that kind of helps you move on to that next phase so i mean we're both applying to university university, this, for this year um do you want to start because I mean, you've sent yeah. yours off yeah so i've already sent my ucas off i was applying for medicine as well i mean medicine <laughs> Um, but you know f- from year 12 we've had so much support from teachers mm-hmm. um, you know just like with getting um, contact with specialists in the field mm-hmm. um, even from our personal statements we, we were sent off to doctors and you know getting using links to support our application yeah. and always like you know Miss Shevings is always sending us oh, yeah, emails well, yeah, about, about uni tasters and careers, taster days yeah. and so on um, my form tutor at the moment because hopefully I'm planning to yeah. send off my UCAS by next week. I'm just perfecting my personal statement yeah. at the moment, but my form tutor has been incredibly helpful with it all, um, and that is the same for every single form here. It's sixth form, mm-hmm. like you were saying previously. The the relationship we have with our teachers now is so much more casual and comfortable. Yeah. Um, they're so supportive here, um, so it's been such a great help to know that I've got teachers to support me just um, with with university applying. Um, like I think university. year 12s even have the programme like Career Ready. Mm. I think yeah. you didn't have that, right? So yeah. No, we didn't. Year 12. Yeah, the Career Ready is like, I think it's really good. Personally, I didn't apply for it because like Clive, I want to do medicine. Mm-hmm. But I think it's so helpful, especially for those that don't really know what they want to do because you get a one-to-one mentor with someone with Career Ready and they help you write like your CV and help you apply to UCAS mm-hmm. and things. So I think for those that aren't, a hundred percent sure what they want to mm. do it's like so helpful because mm. they can find the path they want to do and clearly like do it yeah. so i think it's not it's not just about university as well like the school's yeah. supporting for like apprenticeships yeah. and you know other schemes it's, the school's really open with that and you know just helps anyone yeah, yeah. okay so you talked about you can you touched upon class sizes mm-hmm. Um, so can maybe talk talk a little bit about numbers. So kind of what what kind of experiences are you get in in terms of class sizes. I mean, so starting from in year thirteen, our smallest class size is <laughs> it's like three, three people yeah. um, in further maths, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, and then I think the largest one it's like seventeen is seventeen. Mm-hmm. Um, one of the classes, but so, so still, still much yeah, smaller, <laughs> still pretty yeah. small. And yeah, that really does change how the class functions. Yeah. You know? Definitely. Like um, like we said before, you get so much more attention, there's so much more focus. And I think time is used so much better mm-hmm. with the smaller classes because you can just get straight on um, and just focus specifically on the things that yeah. people aren't sure about. And I think during lockdown as well, like oh, that was yeah, such a big true. advantage of having like, smaller classes and a smaller sixth form in the whole. I think that overall our sixth form yeah. as a whole responded really well um, to, the, to the response, yeah, to the COVID response. And we um, came in, did mocks and yeah, everything. Yeah, we did. We managed but socially to do distant, it. Yeah. yeah. Um, also on Teams as well, mm-hmm. um, the teachers were just always, on always it. there, always on <laughs> it with emails if you didn't understand anything. Because obviously it was a difficult time yeah. for everyone and we were just a bit, you know, <laughs> we, we need to carry on learning yeah. the, the course, but teachers were really on form with that, which is really good. Yeah. And uh, uh, yeah, and COVID, you know, is something <laughs> that we can't ignore because it's still something that we are all facing yeah. and yeah. we're living with um, day to day. Um, how, how have you found sort of coming back to school since September you know, I'm sure everybody had a level of anxiety, mm-hmm. but but what's it what's it been like, kind of coming back in and getting back into that routine again? You, I mean, maybe we will start with you girls over I here. I think it's been good. I think there've been lots of like things being put in place to like help us and make sure that we're not always too close to teachers and yeah. other students. Yeah. And it's been really good, like splitting the year groups. So mm-hmm. when we're in our bubbles, we don't have to mix with other years. So that was always good. 
And I, I was quite impressed with the school and how they like handled it. They like instantly knew, oh, we've got to do this to make sure everything was safe. So mm-hmm. it was handled really well. So you felt reassured coming yeah, back? Yeah, I was okay. very reassured coming back. And has it been, you know, because you probably, I don't know about you, Frederica, but I mean, George, I know you've obviously, having finished your year 11 exams and then had quite a long period of time, or, you know, yeah. being away from school for a long period of time, coming back in, how was that for you kind of getting back into that day-to-day routine again? I think, I mean, it was all right. I think, obviously, there was a difference in the transition from year 11 to year 12, but the teachers were also so helpful, especially because mm. we finished year 11 early. So whilst yeah. year 11 was still <laughs> going on, teachers were, like Annabella said, like replying to our emails. They were always giving yeah. us work. Mm-hmm. We were never, like, short of anything. Mm-hmm. So the transition was a lot easier because it was like, oh, I'm still in a routine. I've not just completely yeah. gotten rid of it. Yeah. So it was... Okay, good. So that made life easier. I mean, you, yeah, again, I think you, your experience, having already been in the sixth form, yeah. you found things kind of almost running as close to normal as you could. Yeah. Even though it was done remotely, yeah. you felt you were still engaged with school. I mean, 100%. Obviously, you know, having lessons with the teachers, even yeah. if they weren't in person, was yeah. really good. Great biology lessons <laughs> yeah. online. Yeah, they were yeah. really good. But coming back to school has been great. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm so happy to be back, I'm not going to lie. Um, I just think being away from school for such a long time. Being with your friends again. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and seeing faces again, yeah. seeing everyone, yeah. everyone's so happy, talking to people again yeah. in this school environment. It's just been great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, really good. And I think I think the school structure has actually made that easier because obviously the sixth form is like totally separate from the rest of the school. So yeah. we, we saw in our own area, even before um, the coronavirus, you know, we, we, were just, we just do what we want in our area. Yeah, I guess that's another point then, going yeah. back to differences from high school to mm-hmm. sixth form is that even though we have this massive building within the high school, you yeah. would, you know, people might assume, oh, it's really quite similar, but we are very secluded from mm. the rest of from the rest of the high school. We have totally different blocks and yeah, everything. Yeah, we've got our own little little areas, which is quite nice to keep away from. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the- but that, I think that's important, isn't it, that you've got your own space and yeah. it's a space that you feel is is exclusive to you as six formers, Definitely. which is great. And you've got these specialist facilities mm. that are yours, and, and it's very rare that any other members of the school would kind of come into yeah. areas. Yeah. I know, like in here, we'd have probably have people up in business, but other than that, it's pretty much your space, yeah. isn't it? But, and that's I think that's quite an important point because, you know, in a sixth form where you're based in a high school, yes, you're a separate sixth form, but you're still part of a, oh, yeah. a wider school oh, community. Yeah. yeah. And, I, and I, I just wanted to touch on that point really. Things are different at the moment because of all of the the restrictions we have. But under normal circumstances, I mean, both of you are part of our wider Mm six-form leadership team as as head boy and head girl. What do you see kind of as your roles and responsibilities towards our younger students, you know, being part of that that kind of broader broader leadership team within the sixth form? I mean, really, our role is just, you know, to help integrate the whole school and, you know, um, really represent the school and, you know, just support support whatever needs and especially with the student council as well mm. you know really making changes that yeah. really affect students mm-hmm. and then yeah so we have at the moment our student council mm-hmm. team which are currently organizing things and improving the sixth form yeah. um we have like termly kind of like mm-hmm. sessions counseling sessions where we all meet up in the isa and discuss problems or issues or things we can improve things that have gone well and we act on it yeah, yeah. and we act on it yeah. um which is which is going really well at the moment we also have our house captains mm-hmm. which kind of integrate with the high school because if you come from st albans we have our houses yeah. um, um. and each captain represents a house um we also have house days Charity um, days, yeah. Yeah, so we have currently done a villa house and Bottle. Botoff house, mm-hmm. and for both of them in total, we've raised about five hundred yeah, pounds, which is lot. really that's good. That's great for, um, our, first for our two, yeah. Yeah, and during for our lockdown three as well. Yeah. Um, which not, are, what are they? So we Cafford? have mind, Cafford, mind, Cafford, yeah. mind, and SVP. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. the money split between them, and you know, these are charities that the school really feel strongly about and and it's... that we were allowed to choose i think mm-hmm. we, we did choose mine because we were allowed to have our input on what charities yeah. we could support yeah. as well um but i think we all recognize right now that mel- mental health for yeah, everybody is, is a huge yeah Definitely. it's a huge thing so that's why so you talked a little bit about um, some of the activities you're doing a black black lives matter mm-hmm. sort of yes. activity and agenda that you're pushing at the moment do you want to talk a little bit about some of the stuff that you're doing for that yeah so, so do yeah i mean as as it is really our student council so as a, as a sixth form, we're really allowed to do whatever we want and whatever follow do what we feel strongly about. Mm-hmm. And I think you know, obviously, after the 
um, BLM movement and, you know, we felt it was important to do something addressing yeah. um, and we, we decided to do some Black History Month yeah. events. So some of the things we've been thinking about, uh, we made a separate council for mm-hmm. this and we have discussed in lunchtime sessions about things that we could do, movements we could do. Mm-hmm. Um, one of our students did a movement where we which was arranged in the sports hall and there was a lineup. It's a privi- yeah, privilege like, race. Yeah, just yeah, to inform people and educate race. people more about like privilege and so on, um, which went down really well. Mm-hmm. I think yeah. we posted yeah. that on our school's Instagram page as well. Certainly did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, other things, we have a whole board yeah. dedicated in the common room um, of the sixth form block where currently some students are putting up posters yeah. and just in facts and so on, um, which is looking really good at the yeah. moment as well. It's so really well good. done to everyone who's doing <laughs> that as well. It's looking great so far. Yeah. But um, it's just um, our main aim at the moment is to just spread awareness. Um, we're also currently thinking of ideas where we can kind of spread awareness and to educate the, the schools lower schools well, yeah. as well, yeah. obviously, because we're in bubbles at the moment. So under these circumstances, it's a little bit more difficult to do so, but we're, we're, we're thinking of ways yeah. Yeah. to to do something about that yeah awesome okay great yeah. so i think um i just want to kind of try and bring things maybe to a close we talked about a number of things um which i think are really important and hopefully the people watching are kind of getting a real flavor i think what certainly for me is coming across is the support and the community mm-hmm. and the family feel that that i think st Albans provides for yeah. its students um just thinking kind of ahead, because we've talked a little bit about the future. So you've talked to your medicine is maybe mm-hmm. your path. Mm-hmm. Okay, so where, where have you applied to? So I've applied for UCL, Nottingham, Birmingham, uh, Brighton. Yeah, okay. Four options. So you can't choose your fifth one. Either. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Annabella, what about you? Um, so I am planning on taking psychology. Okay. Um, I'm hopefully sending off my UCAS by next week. Mm-hmm. And I'm, so far, I've got my top four, which is Bath, Nottingham, Trent, um, Kent and UEA okay. all for psychology yeah. okay well good luck with, with all Thank of that you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. The best of I mean, and I know for well for Fr- Frederica I'm not sure what your plans are once you kind of head back to Germany at some point but obviously you'll, you'll take a lot of experiences from being here with us um, what are you, you know, do you have any plans for the future at this stage or is that, is that a little too far off, off in the distance? Yeah, I think it's a little too far off in the distance <laughs> because um, when I head back to Germany, I will actually do my A-levels mm-hmm. there because I wouldn't be in A-level if I would be in Germany right now. Um, but I can definitely say that I will take a lot of skills, even like the things, normal things here, like how, what do you need to write to get four marks for four mark questions? <laughs> yeah. I didn't know all of this stuff, <laughs> but I think it will definitely help me when I do my A-levels back yeah. in Germany, because I don't think that we will talk about it that much. And also other things, because I'm, at the time, I'm mostly taking subjects I couldn't in Germany, mm-hmm. for example, sociology, business economics, philosophy, mm-hmm. like things for maybe bigger questions to just educate me on the world yeah. and of course the English culture <laughs> <laughs> of course yeah. a kettle like putting on a kettle really solves all problems <laughs> I thought you were lying <laughs> no, a cup of tea, tea yeah. will, will pretty much solve <laughs> the world's problems yeah. right? That's it. in times of crisis put the kettle on a cup of tea and a couple of biscuits <laughs> And all of our problems are solved. Yeah. So I'm glad you picked that up. Do take that back to Important Germany lessons. with with our with our yeah. with our greetings. So yeah. Um, and Georgia, what about you? What do what what does the future kind of hold for you? What do you? I want to go and look at studying emergency medicine, so okay. medicine in the emergency department. Um, and at the moment, the universities I'm looking at are Lincoln, Sheffield, and Cambridge. But I'm still kind of pondering between universities and looking at my options and yeah. grade boundaries. Okay. So. So just sort of planning and getting yourself yeah, kind of prepared. Amazing. Like, yeah. Okay, that sounds great. Now um, we're going to hand over to one of our former students, Sam, who uh, studied with us um, throughout our sixth form. He'd actually been with us from year seven, and he has gone on to study at university. And we do keep in contact with our former students. It's a big part of what we do. And actually, we, we see those former students as inspiration to the, to the current students that we have. So Sam has kindly sent us a video that we'd just like to play for you now. Hi, my name's Sam, and I was a student at St Albans Sixth Form until 2015, when I went on to study an undergrad in geography at the University of Oxford. And since then, I've 
stayed at the University of Oxford and I'm now doing a PhD in physical geography, which I was very lucky to receive a full government scholarship for. Um, and what I took away from St Albans is, is just what a great kind of friendly, welcoming learning environment it is and one that's really, really supportive in, in helping students really achieve their best. And I really owe it to St Albans for giving me the encouragement to apply to top universities and then supporting me through that process all the way through from uh, initially doing my personal statement, sitting my entrance exams and then giving me time off school to go and attend my uh, interviews. And not to mention giving me really, really excellent teaching to help me achieve the grades for the entry requirements that I needed for my course. Okay, welcome back. Well, thanks to Sam for sending his video through. Uh, it is really an inspiration for us to see our former students go on to do such great things at such you know prestigious universities as Oxford. So uh, a really great success story there. Now, this is the formal Q&A part of our um, session, and hopefully there's lots of you there logged in, ready with your <laughs> questions. We're hoping. Uh, Mrs. Morris has now returned. Uh, just to join us for this part. So please, if you have any questions, uh, send them through. So thank you. I have a few email, um, a few questions emailed. So my first question um, is, how are we managing science practicals during COVID? Right, okay. Well, it's a science, right? Um, so obviously there are restrictions of what we can do. Mm -hmm. but uh, And right now we've had the school sectioned off into different year groups. Yeah. But um, what, what we are going to do soon is just, you know, have a room in the science um, block, you know, mm -hmm. for our practicals. Mm -hmm. And so it's all COVID safe. Yeah. So, you know, a class can go in there and do our core practicals, you know, that's needed for our specification. So yeah. we will be doing them. But obviously it'll just take a I mean, bit longer. We're doing, I think um, one of yeah. our teachers has been planning it quite a lot um, recently, trying to make sure that the technicians have everything set up in a safe environment for mm -hmm. us. And I think we're doing one of our core practicals it's tomorrow, tomorrow yeah. for biology. So. <laughs> Yeah. Should be good. Yeah, should be good. <laughs> okay, excellent, thank you. And a few questions really about your free period. Mm -hmm. So obviously that's a big change from year 11 where you'd have a full timetable. So could you please tell me about what you do in your freeze? Um, at the moment I have to say that I use them mostly to socialise because we're in lockdown and uh, the school is the place where you can actually meet more people. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But, um, at, but before that, and in normal times, I personally would look over things that I've written down, organize my notes, maybe do my homework. I mean, we have the ISA room. If we really want to concentrate, we have the library, and we can use some books from here. But in general, it's just as an exchange student, I have to say that it's really helpful to have three lessons <laughs> to like go around in the sixth form block, not in the whole school yeah. because of COVID, but in the sixth form block and search of other students to then randomly attack them with questions about England and yeah. how they are. <laughs> I think they're really helpful. I know if I have like a free period before a lesson I have homework, I can do it then and like yeah. spread my homework out so I'm not all like yeah. cramming it in one night. So I think they're really useful and I've enjoyed having them and being able to do work and like the access to like library and books and the ISA so I think it's really good to have free periods. Yeah, definitely I agree again with revision I mean especially for us year 13s that's that's quite a it's regular a revision, thing yeah. at the moment that we're doing revising but um, even in year 12 we did spend quite a lot of our freeze just socializing mm -hmm. as well because it is a great time to just talk to people especially under these circumstances yeah. now um, to just get to know people a bit better and and lessons can be intense sometimes yeah you know, sometimes it's good go, to just have a, yeah. a breather after yeah. a lesson or two so yeah and maybe go outside you know grab some food yeah go outside yeah. go to greg's grab a donut <laughs> yeah get some then, wong's chips yeah but yeah that's what we do in our freeze <laughs> yeah you like have a few choices on your doorstep that's, yeah, we have quite <laughs> yeah. A lot. so that leads me to another question really is what do you do in your break and lunch times so yeah so we have what greg's so, yeah yeah Long's martin's the bakery yeah martin's bakery yes oh yeah we've got to remember bakery. That. so in during our breaks and freeze um and lunch times we're allowed we have the responsibility um to go out we've got our lanyards now as well so we can scan out and yeah. then clock out and then just walk literally around the corner it's to go really to the co-op buy some food and then just come back we um the common room is usually the main place mm. where students go and, and hang out and eat 
and spend their lunch times. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's great to be able to just go out, grab some food. Yeah. And so many options as well. Yeah. On sunny days, we also have the balcony. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, going up there. Yeah. 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 I think the year 12 students are more <laughs> yeah. on the balcony. Just so. taking it, yeah. 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 So. On, on the odd occasion when we, when we get some sunshine at this time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and what about um, your independent study periods? Mm. Can you mention anything about those as well? So those are just like, uh, you know, intense periods of revision, I guess. So we have we have slot times for the ISA. It's usually yeah. four or fortnight mm-hmm. that get put on our table, um, timetable, sorry, um, which we have to go to, we get registered in. They are like voluntary anyway. So if you did yeah. have freeze, you would be allowed to go in there and spend time in the silent study area. But it's basically just, like I said previously, a great area where you can just go just knuckle and down. just focus yeah. on anything that you need to do and... Yeah, spend a good whole lesson. And an hour, sign as well. If yeah. you want to take more subjects, I wouldn't be worried to have that to like on top. Mm. It's just like if you take four or five subjects, you you don't have to like have ISA, even though you still have freeze and still have the um, yeah. chance to go there and really use your time as best as you can. Yeah, definitely. Mm. There is a I was going to say that there is a culture I think within the sixth form just just as an observation that although like you say it's timetabled I think a lot of students do often go in there yeah. you know particularly when they want to somewhere quiet to work and yeah. make sure that they've got the right facility so they've got computer access and so yeah. forth mm-hmm. you do notice students will kind of gravitate to that area and make use of it make use of yeah. it mm-hmm. you know whether they're timetabled in there or not which is which is again I think says a lot about the ethos of the sixth form. Mm. Yeah, especially in year 13, we've got plenty of work to do, so... Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we're, our year 13's are always in Always in yeah. yeah. And I have a question about partial care. Could you tell us a little bit about partial care in sixth form? Do you want to go first? Should I go for that? Um, so obviously we have Mr Toombs coming over yeah. this year, and um, he's just been really helpful. Yeah, so he's in of charge stuff. of like student wellbeing mm. and any problems that we have with things like that, any concerns... Um, he's quite new to our sixth form, yeah. but he's fit in really well. Mm-hmm. Um, he's always around if you ever have any concerns or anything like that. And um, it's just a great, great person to talk to, really, in general. Yeah, I mean, one of the great things, I feel like, for um, in sixth form is that you can always just catch on. You can just always find a teacher that you need to talk yeah, to. Yeah, and that as well. Yeah. I mean, even if Sir isn't around, you have all the other teachers mm. that are around to help support you as well. Yeah. Um, which then brings us back to the idea of just... Yeah. A community, a really. Community, yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, I'm not, I'm not so keen on Mr. Toombs' jokes, but <laughs> well, we'll, 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 swift, we'll swiftly move on for that. Um. <laughs> yeah, but like also, um, even though we are a Catholic school, you shouldn't be too worried. Me, I'm, for example, I'm, I'm not Christian, and I was a bit worried before I came here because I was told, like, please don't colour your hair, don't wear this, don't wear that. <laughs> be very very strictly to the rules and then the first thing I was when I came here was a guy with piercings and pink hair I was just like okay yeah that's more kind of my way but, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but, but everybody's very friendly and yeah. um, you you have your freedoms mm. uh, but also you have the support and the community of the Catholic school I mean mm. that's another point though really with yeah. our sixth form we kind of just welcome and kind of put forward individuality within yeah. students and allowing students to express themselves in a way that they feel comfortable. I think that's another great quality that our um, sixth form has to offer. The school actually cares, you know. Yeah. It's not just about just doing whatever you want, but it's also being being able to like doing what's best for you and yeah. understanding what's actually as important, important as the academic grades yeah. are and what your future plans are, um but your our sixth form has a lot here to support us with our well being and um, just our development and mm. figuring out like who we are as a, as a person because we are young adults at the end yeah. of the day and these are quite stressful times for us yeah. with all of the academic side so it's quite nice to just relax yeah. a bit and just talk to talk to students and staff about things. I mean during lockdown we had well-being checkups. Yeah. You know we came in saw our form tutors after however long and yeah, that's true, they yeah. asked us how we were actually doing not just about you know what, how, what we're doing in tests. Exactly and stuff. yeah. Which is nice, yeah. yeah. Great, I have just um, one more question if I've got time, which yeah, sure. is about exam preparation and how well you feel you're supported for exams and for assessments. Okay, so recently, um, yeah. I think a few weeks ago, we actually had a PYF session 
specifically dedicated to different types of revision, how the to revise a fish. It. Yeah, the psychology behind <laughs> it, which was very interesting, very interesting. Yeah. Um, and just um, giving out good techniques of how to revise more efficiently. Yeah. Um, that's one of the things that we've been doing. So we have PYF sessions. And we've done plenty of mocks, it really, it really, and not even like proper mocks, not just online mocks. Yeah, so lots of exam practice as well. And we, so yeah. we know exactly where we are. Uh, and even though we take notes, most of the teachers have mm. like presentations they show on their lessons. And um, because we work over Teams now, yeah. they upload them most of the time so that even if you haven't got any everything or you're worried that you missed something, you can look back and look over the slides mm. and say, okay, that's what we actually done. And many, like um, in year 12, it's like that, that many teachers, when they say, okay, we're gonna write an assessment next week, then you have to know this, 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 and this. Yeah. And uh, it's gonna be a four mark and a six mark mm. question or whatever they want to be so that you can like really uh, specifically prepare for that assessment mm. on I think we have a lot of exam style questions. Yeah, yeah really I have exam practice, but that's another point that I really like about the classes within the sixth form is that teachers will always refer back to the specification yeah. of what we actually need to learn. So it's right there. We know exactly what will be on exams, and it's just yeah. At the same time, also like if we're actually interested, you know, helping us to you know look into it, even if it's not in specification, like yeah. you know, obviously people going into Research higher education. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a good skill to develop, especially again with psychology. Um, yeah. I'm encouraged a lot to look beyond the subject as well. Because yeah, that's a great yeah. quality to and have for yeah. university. And teachers actually have like to actually interest in the subject. Yeah. They're not, just, not yeah. just teaching <laughs> it for the sake of it. Yeah, yeah. They're always there as well to help you. Like mm. if you ever have a question, I think in biology, at the end of every lesson, <laughs> Miss is always like, "Oh, if you have any questions, please just come and ask yeah. me or email <laughs> yeah. me." And you kind of you feel like you can yeah. go and ask them. Oh, I'm not sure about this. If, so if you don't want to ask in class, you can always ask yeah. them at the end yeah. of class. So your questions are never unanswered, and you mm. always know what you need to. Yeah, yeah. and even if you need like a weird analogy, I remember <laughs> that we have like, I think we have a unicorn in philosophy. Yeah, That's some weird. A lot of, you, of, of um, analogy, so yeah. it's it's very fun in most of my classes. <laughs> okay, well, thank you to everybody who's posted questions and been involved in our our chat this evening. Um, I'm sure you'd agree that our students have literally stolen the show and have, have done an amazing job with talking through what our sixth form is all about now you may notice in the bottom right hand corner of the screen we have our own instagram account uh, which is our whole school account and we post various things on there some of that content is sixth form specific and on monday for the very first time we had our very first instagram takeover day and what we're trying to do is encourage our students to kind of put their perspective on things, to give you a bit of an insight to what actually sixth form life is like. So we're gonna give you a quick snippet of what our first Instagram takeover day looked like. So we will be doing more of these Instagram takeover days in the coming weeks. We'd like to do more of that so that you can actually see what our students are getting up to and it will really give you a flavour of what sixth form life is like. For me, that's the most important thing is actually you get to see it from the students' eyes and hopefully that will encourage you to apply to our sixth form. I'm going to hand over to Mrs Morris now who will finish our session for the evening.
Thank you. So I just wanted to thank everyone for this evening, but just to remind you about the next stage really in the process of application. So on our website that has gone live today is our virtual taster. And so you can go onto our website, you'll see the click at the bottom, at the top, this tab at the top, and you can click on and find out about all of our courses that are running. Most of the clips are about two minutes long and you get an idea of the different subjects and the teachers teaching those subjects. So hopefully you'll find those useful and help you in the decision making of which subjects to choose. When you have decided, you can fill in your application form. It's a very short form on our website, which we'd like to have in by the 20th of November, please. And you can make a change to your choices at a later date after you get some more results or you change your mind. That's absolutely fine. We're here to help you with the process all the way along. But making those initial choices helps us with our timetabling. So we look forward to receiving your applications. If you have any questions we've not answered this evening, then please do email us directly at the sixth form email account and we'll get back to you. So thank you very much for joining